Hi, this is Ellen with Hollywood.com here at the Apco Theater in Westwood, California. Tonight is the premiere for Dr. Doolittle 2, and we caught up with many of the stars on the red carpet. Now, what happens in the movie this time around? This time around, he's busy saving, trying to save the forest, but then he's at home trying to deal with his teenage daughter. <laughs> so it's kind of difficult for him. He just goes back and forth. That's why it's good for, like, regular, like, teenagers or kids or adults because it goes back and forth from doing different things like some kids might not understand some parts but the parts that they do understand will be hilarious. Which animals do you work with in the movie? I work with the monkey, I work with um, a raccoon and I work with a bear. Whoa. No. Whoa. Wow. Wow. Real yeah. one? Yeah. It's scary. Which one was the biggest diva? The bear. I, the bear? It, it came in, it was like all of you guys, back away, I'm coming in. <laughs> Here's my cage, step away. I, I couldn't say anything. I said, hats off to the diva because <laughs> I couldn't take it. I was like, too much diva to my set. Where, where, I don't know. So, I have to give her props. <laughs> Which animal do you feel was the biggest diva? Definitely the bear. <laughs> Definitely the bear. It's because like, it was either his way or he'd eat you. You know okay. what I mean? And you couldn't bring food on the set. There's always this thing, don't bring food on this set, the bear may eat you. So, you know what I mean, you like had to always leave your drink at the door and all that stuff, because, you know, it was always hungry, that bear. I don't understand it, but he's always hungry. Bear's going to get his own movie next time. Huh? Yeah, that was yes, the bear will probably get his own movie next time. He definitely has a TV series coming, because he's got an agent. Did you work with the bear? Uh, just one day. Okay, because I'm hearing all these stories about how the bear is the big diva and all this. Oh, he's unbelievable. He wants his own trailer. <laughs> He wants his own water bowl. He's a very, he's a difficult, difficult actor, I tell you. Because it wasn't like being on a set where there are so many animals, and they're like to become the stars. Well, between the animals and the kids, I mean, you know, me and Eddie are like, hey. Really? Do you feel like that? No, he's Eddie Murphy, so I'm sure he's fine. What's your secret? Why does, why does he have this endearing um, commitment for audiences to just come out just to see Eddie? I don't know. It, it, I, I don't know what you'd call it. It's just that thing that some people have, you know. And he's got it. Is it weird when someone tells you you have the perfect voice to be a lizard? You know what? It is weird. It is weird. I well, especially a Mexican lizard. You know. So I, I guess I guess if I was a German lizard, I wouldn't be able to do it. So so good, good thing for my ethnicity this time. You know. <laughs>